Our gracious Heavenly Lord, we thank you for this time of meditation during the Lenten season. Lord, we also thank you for giving this opportunity to gather together in person in the church to praise and adore thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To glorify our Lord, shall we all stand and sing hymn 538. Hymn 538, What a friend we have in Jesus. Hymn 538. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Or we we can he be laden, covered with a load of care. Precious Savior, still a refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friend despise for Let us all pray together, following the special order of worship. Let us say together, Lord, do not remember the sins we have committed and the sins of our ancestors. Do not punish us according to our sins. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, redeem us, your servants. Lord, help us in our need. Lord, our Savior, establish us, your servants. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Let us pray together. Lord, be merciful and gracious unto us. As we have sinned in our conscience, redeem us from sin. Through your forgiveness and hear our pleas. Be merciful to us when we confess our sins. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, you love everything you created and show mercy upon all men. You do not take pleasure in the death of sinners, but desire in their redemption from sin. 
forgive us our sins, accept and comfort us when we deal in the burden of our sins. You are always merciful, only you can offer forgiveness, mercy upon us, your people whom you have redeemed. God of all kindness, have mercy upon us. Do not judge us, these your servants who are sinners and are like dust. We humbly confess our iniquities and feel remorse for our sins and turn away from your anger. Grant us the grace to live with you in eternity. We ask this in the nature's name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray together. Gracious Lord, turn us unto you. Then we will turn to you. Be gracious unto us, your people who come to you with tears, fasting and prayers. For you are the God of mercy, compassion, long-suffering and kindness. You are patient with us even though we deserve punishment. You remember your mercy even in mountains of anger. Be merciful to us, your people. Lord, grant us your mercy. Protect us, your inheritance from all troubles. Because of your unending mercies, hear us, Lord. According to your great mercies, look upon us. Fulfill all these requests in the name of our Son, our blessed Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Out of the temple, a loud voice from the heaven, from the throne, it is done. Revelation 16, 17. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and for out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne, saying, It is done. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, Fill us with thy spirit when we reflect the biblical truth and help us to realize and understand the true meaning in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is the 24th day in this Lent and here ends all the programs or project of our God he has initiated against the Roman Empire and the voice comes from heaven from the altar it is done it is finished it got over 16 chapters are spent to teach the young church to John that the brutally cruel administration will end. There will be an end to every persecution, every power that are against God and human being or against all the creations. Those cruel power are not only persecuting human beings, they annihilate forests, other creations. Many years ago when Reagan was the president, he had a dream of having Star Wars, you might have heard about it, Star Wars, to keep all the weapons in the atmosphere. There was plan of spending more than three trillion dollars. And some scientists and contractors misguided him and he wanted to make Star Wars. They have coined the name Star Wars and they will be keeping weapons that are ready to be poured upon enemies, countries of enemies. 
and in such a way they have arranged they sorted planning spending money on that and they wanted to keep for instance if they wanted to wage war against india means they will keep their weapons directly above the sky facing the indian continent subcontinent in such a way all over the world they were planning to keep weapons in the atmosphere maybe 15 kilometers away from the earth but they were not able to accomplish that one and they did not continue the project because they know that god will punish those who have these kinds of mind of waging war and destroying the entire universe world powers they make alliance with other fellow countrymen and with the help of the friendly countries they have plans of destroying human being earth atmosphere ocean river bed and everything they see it as a commodity not as a creation of god it was there 2000 years ago and therefore god initiated this project of annihilating the brutally cruel administration empire called roman empire 1617 the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air and after the temple came a loud voice from the throne saying it is done all things are originated from heaven altar and throne it is a symbolic teaching that god initiates this kind of punishment to those who persecute human being god is not a mere spectator as we do he intervenes he teaches he makes the things done it is done then there came flashes of lightning rumblings peals of thunder and a severe earthquake yesterday we have seen the first three angels pouring fire from its bowels there are another four angels are there they are going to pour now verse 8 the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun and the sun was given power to scorch people creations are under the control of the god the creator and god makes all these creations to oppose the administration of roman empire to threaten their administration to paralyze their administration to bring chaos among the administrators and that so now it takes place sun was given power to scorch people with fire they were seared by the intense heat and they cursed the name of god but they did not repent instead of repentance they wanted to curse the name of god who had control over the these plagues but they refused to repent and glorify him the fifth angel poured out his bowl the throne of the beast and his kingdom was plunged in darkness beast again a symbolic one talks about roman emperor the throne of roman no light to pass orders against the human being they cannot function 
because there was darkness during light during day time they have been doing all sorts of these kinds of troubling manipulating persecuting exploiting oppressing and suppressing common people and other nations now it is dark men now their tongues in agony and curse the god of heaven because of their pains and their sores but they refuse to repent of what they had done see how god gives visions are similar to that of plagues in egypt and the heart of pharaoh in spite of so many plagues pharaoh did not repent at the end only he repented god it was given that god has hardened his heart he did not repent verse 6 12 the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river euphrates euphrates the river it was used as a trade route ships were used to bring goods from all the corners of the world we know a proverb all roads lead to rome people used to say all roads lead to rome in india british government they have laid highways and roads and railways in order to bring agricultural produce cotton iron ore from many corners of indian subcontinent and make them to be available for those who are in europe because of their business needs they have laid roads railways were introduced now in new pratis what takes place is very different thing the water gets dried the symbolic teaching enemies will e- easily walk along that euphrates they could easily attack rome and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east kings from the east will go wage war against the roman and they will be taught then i saw three evil spirits that looked like frogs they came out of the mouth of the dragon out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophets that we have seen in chapter 12 and 13 a dragon from heaven beast from the sea another beast from the earth the third one was called as false prophet they were anti trinitarian god these three elements or three beasts were functioning against trinity they are false trinity and they are spirit of demons performing miraculous signs and they go to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of god almighty they will be propagating false things against god they will bring alliance of these people who are against god they will have a bad planning of creating a new alliance to fight against god and it says that verse 15 behold i come like a thief blessed is he who stays awake and keeps his clothes with him so that he may not go naked 
and be shamefully exposed god wants to teach the young church to through john that they must be alert away this is an awareness program initiated by our god through john to make this young church to be alert and not to support the evil forces of roman emperor then they gathered the kings together to the place that hebrew is called arame gedon see the the hebrew people they assemble in megiddo <coughs> is is very ambiguous and it is difficult to understand this word but scholars say that it is something like 666 based on the meaning of the letters of the greek language many did not go deep into the meaning of this armageddon that was 16 but they want to relate with a place called megiddo that's in book of judges chapter 5 verse 19 and we see that what happens after the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air no yet could like it has ever occurred since man has been on earth so tremendous was the quake the great city split into three parts we know what the consequences of earth quakes they divide places they split earth the great city split into three parts the great city split into three parts and the cities of the nations collapsed and god remembered babylon the great and gave her the cup filled with the wine of the fury of his wrath they are planning to have alliance to wage war against god but of the seventh angels mission got over the entire world is divided now cities are collapsed they cannot commute the system of transportation is paralyzed now they cannot communicate people are displaced they cannot coordinate they will be in a position not to come together that's how god does the things get done god remembered babylon the great and gave her the cup filled with the wine of the fury of his wrath we know cyrus invaded uh, this assyrian part this part of nineveh and all the babylon he wins and frees all the jewish people in babylon so god wants to connect what took place to the time of cyrus the king of assyria when he invaded babylon babylon was fallen it was made to fall by the force of assyrian king cyrus and cyrus sets free all the people of juda to leave babylon to go back to israel to reconstruct the temple and jerusalem city jerusalem city will be flourish but other cities will not be the last chapter of second chronicles gives details about how cyrus sends the people from babylon to jerusalem God remembered Babylon the great and gave her the cup filled with the wine of the fury of his wrath every island fled away and the mountains could not be found because of the 
intensity of the earthquake from the sky huge hail stones of about a hundred pounds each fell upon men stones fell upon men and they cursed God on account of the plague of hail because the plague was so terrible we have been witnessing many sorts of kinds of earthquakes all over the world yet we are not realizing repenting the people who make business they treat human being and all other cases as commodities we are living being we have our thoughts and feelings we are able to communicate but they want us to be servant of this oppressors and they treat as commodity of their business god will come heavily upon those people who are against god's creations through his own creation through sun water sea earth god will punish the people who are against it and make them to realize there will be new world order another world is not impossible another world is possible through the initiative works of our god let's pray gracious heavenly lord we thank you for giving us time of reflection on thy word help us to be truthful and genuine in learning and proclaiming propagating thy word and help us to build the kingdom with your partnership in this world in jesus name we pray amen let us all stand sing him 165 40 days and 40 nights him 165 40 days and 40 nights
let us pray for our country those who suffer a lot without food shelter dress materials also pray for unemployed those who get very minimum amount of salary those who are called unorganized sectors those who are find difficult to pay for their medical bills education fees those who are suffering a lot due to so many issues that god may be their guide their strength their comforter to be relieved from all these issues let us pray for world peace the even more world leaders to involve in a dialogue of bringing peace and reconciliation in ukraine and russia gracious assembly lord we submit all these prayers to thy throne of grace bless all of the prayers answer our requests and please lord make us thy true instruments in popularizing thy teachings in order to build a new world order where there is peace justice and righteousness lord we pray for those who are taking part in this morning time of meditation bless all of us be with us protect us when we go back to respective places lord we also pray for those who are taking part through online in jesus name we pray amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all now and forever amen